Do you want to create your course 10 times faster? AI is drastically changing how we create content, and if you're doing everything manually, you are already behind. But which tools are actually worth the hype? I have tested virtually all of them, and I am going to share with you today the five that have absolutely blown me away that I use on the regular. Number three is my favorite and has literally changed my life. So are you ready? Let's dive in. What's up, it's Danny. If you haven't yet, be sure to download my profitable course starter guide. It's linked in the description down below. This first AI course creation tool is probably my second favorite on this list because it has saved me an incredible amount of time from doing something that I absolutely loathe. And that is slide creation. Now, instead of manually creating all your slides in Google Slides or in Canva, I would recommend that you use something called Gamma.app. With Gamma.app, you can simply paste in what you want to teach students and it will create beautiful slides. Or it can go so far as to just create slides from one line of text. Let's say create a presentation on branding 101. I could hit generate outline. It would then come up with the content that it thinks that I should teach. I can pick then a style or theme that I want it to look like. Let's say that I like this one. I can pick if I want the content to be minimal, concise, detailed, if I want AI images or stock images or GIFs. From there, I can hit generate and it will create extremely beautiful slides for you. Mind blowing. And then you can go in and you can customize things to your liking, change layouts, change pictures. It's incredible. Most often how I'm using gamma.app is I am pasting in the text. For my courses, I always create Google Doc workbooks for my students. So what I would normally do is I would go into one of my documents and I would just hit command all, and then I would paste this into gamma.app and then it would create slides for me and I could customize them from there. You can use this totally for free. I though am on this middle plus plan just because you're allowed to generate up to 20 cards right off the bat and I can always add more from there. But having those 20 cards has been really helpful for me because I'm usually uploading really large documents to teach off of. So just a tip for you there. Now, maybe you're wondering, Danny, what's the best AI course creation platform or software? Like, is it Learn Worlds? Is it Thinkific? Is it Kajabi? Do not worry. I made a video breaking down what are all the best actual platforms for AI course creation that you should definitely watch after this. Now, all that to say, you will still probably need to be using these tools that I'm talking about in this video, as well as a course software platform that actually is going to host your created course. So both of these videos go together well. I'll be sure to link that in the description. The next best AI tool for course creation is incredible for organization and it's free 99. So we always like that. And that is Google Sheets using Gemini. Now you may already know this about me, but I started off building my course on Teachable and then I painstakingly moved over to Kajabi because I felt like I outgrew Teachable. And let me tell you, if I would have followed the advice that I'm giving to you right now, I would have been able to transfer my course over in a matter of days rather than like the months that it took me. So highly recommend that you create a very detailed course outline with all of your trainings and worksheets in one place using Google Sheets with the help of Gemini. Let me show you what I mean. So what you'll need to do is you'll just go into your Google and you'll go to Google Sheets. Again, it's free. And then you will just hit create blank spreadsheet. And then from there, see on the right hand side, it says help me create a table. You are going to click this. Yes, help me create a table. And here we have Gemini, Google's AI right here. And you're gonna enter a prompt. This prompt that I'm going to use is in your free profitable course starter guide that's linked in the description. So be sure to download that. But what you'll do is you'll just say, hey, create a course planning sheet with these different columns. And you can customize this to whatever you want, but I found these are the things that I specifically need. So like module, completed lessons, info, activities, all of that. So I'll show you what this is gonna look like. I will hit enter. From here, you can see it created for me a super easy way for me to organize all of my course information. Now, what does this actually look like? I will show you my own. Here is outline for my magnetic blueprint course. And you can see I've got the module, the lesson info, the activities and links. I've got my slides linked here, all my worksheets linked, my videos, and I've checked them off as I've gone. So this is what mine looks like. I would highly recommend that you do the same. And I would have never made this look so beautiful if it weren't for Google Gemini. The third best AI tool for course creation this year 
is my favorite on this list. It allows me to record my screen to teach students, edit videos with ease, send personalized onboarding, send client feedback, and that is all through Descript. You can see here, I've just recently been editing a video in Descript for my current course, and I'm able to record myself and the screen. It just makes it so easy, and you're able to edit your video like a Google document. So you can see here, I can go in and I can delete parts of the video just by deleting words. Also, you can use Descript's Underlord in order to remove filler words, remove retakes, shorten word gaps. It makes editing so insanely easy. Not only is this a huge time saver for editing, but I've also found it's one of the best ways to send personalized onboarding videos to your new students. This just takes your course experience to the next level. So what you can do is you can make a video showing behind the scenes of your course and all the things people need to know. And then the first 10 seconds though, you can film and say someone's name. Be like, hey, what's up Sarah? I'm so glad to welcome you into my course. I can't wait for you to insert your course outline. I'm just quickly sending you the onboarding information so you can really crush this course and make the most out of it. With Descript, I could just copy it and paste it into another video and only film a new first 10 seconds for each new client I got in. Of course, you don't have to do this, but it's just another way to enhance your course experience and Descript makes it insanely easy. I'm coming out with a full Descript tutorial in how I use it for my business and edit videos super fast. And so if you're interested in that, be sure to subscribe. I feel like I'm gonna get this question. This video is not edited by Descript. I have an amazing video editor who uses Adobe Premiere Pro, but I will say for all of my online courses and things, I'm editing that in Descript because it's professional and a huge time saver. So just in case you're wondering, is this made in Descript? No, it's not. The next best AI tool for course creation blows my mind and it literally allows you to clone yourself so students can have access to you 24 seven, and that is Delphi or creator.io. Delphi's website states that it creates a digital you available 24 seven for coaching, Q and A, education, and more. People through Delphi or creator.io, which is like Kajabi's version of Delphi, your students can talk to you, like it sounds like your voice. So you upload loads of your video trainings or podcasts or whatever, and you input it all of course information and it can literally respond to your students how you would respond in your own voice. So people can decide if they wanna have voice messages back and forth with you or just like type messages back and forth with AIU. It's crazy. And if you were ever really overwhelmed by getting the same questions over and over again by clients, creating an AI version of yourself to answer questions within your course or community could be a huge time saver and win for you. Loads of my course friends have already built out AI versions of themselves and it's been so fun to watch and listen to how their AI responds. It's really weird, I'm gonna be honest. And I have felt a lot of like tension in creating my AI version of myself, but I'm finally doing it and I'm gonna add it in to my courses. It's still so weird, right? This is the future, we gotta jump in, but I don't know. How do you feel about it? I would love to know your thoughts about having an AI version of you. Of course, all of these conversations that it has are recorded so you can go back and ensure that it's really doing a good job, but the future is crazy. By the way, between Delphi and creator.io, I think that Delphi is probably the strongest. So if you're gonna try and decide between the two, I might go with Delphi. Most of my online course creator friends have been using Delphi and have had really good feedback and that's the direction I have gone as well. Now, the next best tool for course creation this year, I have to preface with the story. So I used to pay for an AI copywriting tool. You may have heard me talk about it, where it wrote really amazing sales copy. But as I kept using the software and I started to use ChatGPT, I realized actually that ChatGPT was giving me better responses than this AI software that was supposed to really specialize in copywriting. And I found out that most all of these AI new companies that are popping up that are specializing in certain things, they're all really using open AI as their API, like what's under the hood. It's almost all using OpenAI. You actually don't need to be paying for all of these other AI copywriting tools and strategies if you know how to use ChatGPT well. The truth is that ChatGPT only works as good as the prompts, which you probably know, but even in the last like two months, my output from ChatGPT has been insanely better than before because I've learned certain strategies to get the results of these AI softwares that I had been paying for before. So yes, this fifth tool is ChatGPT, but with these six 
caveats of things that you must do in order to get better output. Number one, you have to show it examples of things that you like. So for example, I went to a website that had really strong copywriting. I loved how they wrote their sales copy. So I copied it and I pasted it into ChatGPT and I said, can you match this sort of style, but with my own brand, with my own voice, with my own product? It was insane, the sales page that it wrote me based off of that. So give it examples of what you like and that is going to be tremendously helpful. The second thing going along with that is you have to have it use proven frameworks. You don't just say, hey, write me an email to promote my YouTube video. You need to say, write me a very compelling email using top copywriting strategies that ensure a high click-through rate to get people to watch my latest YouTube video. So even if you don't know exactly what the proven frameworks are, ask ChatGPT to do that research and implement whatever you're doing using proven strategies or proven frameworks. Like for example, hey ChatGPT, what is the highest converting framework for a sales page for online courses? Boom, you can get an answer from ChatGPT. Make sure that then you include that framework in your prompt. Thirdly, be extremely specific and use voice to text. So when I have a really long thought of something I'm processing and I'm trying to build out using AI, I will always voice to text it and I will just ramble. Don't be afraid to ramble, get out all the things that you're thinking and that's going to also help you get better outputs. The more details, the better results. Fourth, be sure to tell AI who it is that you're talking to, where they're at in their journey, and then the vibe that you want. So are you talking to millennial entrepreneurs that are just getting started and you want this to feel like motivational and a little bit sassy, like a sassy best friend? Get specific, get better outcomes. My fifth tip here is absolutely game-changing, and that's to upload any onboarding forms you have from past clients, any ICA research, your brand guides. In your brand guides, you should have what your voice sounds like, different phrases that you use. For me, I always, always, always upload my onboarding forms from my clients. So I've asked them like what their biggest pain points are, what they're struggling with, what they wanna learn. By uploading these, I take them from Google Forms and I just upload them into ChatGPT. I say, make sure you're using my ideal client's own words when you write out any sort of sales copy. Amazingly helpful. Your sales will a thousand percent increase. The last thing is make sure that you ask for tweaks. So never just take ChatGPT's first answer. Always ask it to give variations. Ask it, how could this be stronger? How could this be better? How would top strategist so-and-so critique this? Make sure that you aren't just taking what it first gives you without making it even stronger. So now that you know my top five AI course creation tools of this year, be sure to go and watch the best AI course creation platforms to actually host your course. And if you haven't yet, make sure you download my profitable course starter guide. All right, I'll see you next video. Bye.